Congressman Greg Gianforte was in the state's capital today to tour the Rocky Mountain Emergency Services Training Center. MTS Jonathan Ambarian looks at what the facility provides for first responders and what makes it unique for Montana. The Rocky Mountain Emergency Services Training Center at the Helena Regional Airport was created more than 20 years ago. Today, it gives hundreds of firefighters a year a chance to practice dealing with aircraft fires. Congressman Greg Gianforte came to the facility Friday morning to learn more about their operations. This facility trains emergency response uh, professionals all over the country. So they're preparing these folks to make sure our communities are safer across the state and across the country. Leaders demonstrated some of their training exercises. They use propane to create flames around full-size aircraft models. Firefighters can then put the fires out using specialized equipment. We can simulate uh, you know, foam and different uh, firefighting uh, agents with this system, but we just use water. It's more cost effective and it's uh, more sensitive to the environment. Airport Director Jeff Wadey Camper said the Rocky Mountain Training Center is one of just three of its kind west of the Mississippi. There are other fire training centers uh, around, scattered around the west, smaller ones, but they don't have the high-tech, uh, safer, environmentally friendly nature that this fire training center has. Wadey Camper said the Salt Lake City Airport recently closed its training center, and he's hopeful that will mean more first responders coming to Helena. We're seeing a, a large surge in our uh, interest level here from other organizations that want to come here, so I think we're going to have a real boost in business. Gianforte said the training center's success will be good news for the whole state. Now it's operating at a profit uh, and bringing folks into Montana that's contributing to our local economy. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. Gianforte said he's currently working on legislation that would improve resources for first responders, especially rural EMS systems.